Hello, this recording looks at the last two tasks in the second AAT sample assessment for DAIF. These are involving interpreting, well, calculating and interpreting ratios. So let's have a look. Task six is a gift. If you have memorised your formulas, um, you simply have to write down the formula on your bit of paper, stuff the numbers into it, and eight marks in the bag. So asset turnover for net asset. Right, so asset turnover for net asset. This is the one that measures how much revenue you're making relative to what's been invested. So I am going to add together my total equity, because that's obviously been invested, add on my bank loans, so that 39276 plus 43850, <coughs> excuse me, um, comes to 83,126. So I am then going to say, well, how much revenue did I make? So I'm going to do 56451 and divide it by that 83126. There's no times in by 100 or anything like that. It's number of times and they've helped us out with that here so to one decimal place i've got 0 0.679 in my calculator so to one decimal place that's 0 0.7 gearing so that's a measure of how much of the total finance comes from loans so for that one i need that same investment figure by the way so the the 83126 that i calculated previously and now what i want to do is say well what proportion of that is loans so i'm going to do 43850 divide by the 83126 again times 100 and to one decimal place I've got 52.751 in my calculator so to one decimal place that's 52.8 operating profit margin <laughs> so operating profit is 14,603 divide by 56451 times it by 100 round to one decimal place and we get 25.9 and then the trade payables payment period is going to be your trade payables 3589 divide by your cost of sales 31759 and then multiply by 365 and again, it's just to the nearest one decimal, well, to one decimal place. So that gives us 41.2 days. Answer next. Right, so final question, and this is a big written question, 22 mark, but do not be afraid. It's probably one of the easiest big mark written questions at level four to actually get certainly met or exceeded on um so you're pretty much always going to get two comparisons and four um of the, mar the the ratios so let's have a look at what it says luke berry is a shareholder of wilmington he has heard rumors that the company is experiencing final financial difficulties and has asked you to analyze the most recent financial statements to help him decide whether to keep or sell his shares. His primary concern is profitability. Right, so looking at each of these in turn, we have to identify whether it's better or worse than the previous year. And that's four marks. So one mark just for saying it's better or it's worse. Explain what this comparison may tell you. So, first one, operating profit margin. So it's clearly better. 12.6 is better than 9.2. So better. Now, in terms of what you're going to say, 
I would recommend um, sort of to make sure you sort of definitely get the marks. Say something like this shows as a sentence stem and then this could be because and then there's nothing wrong with using sort of bullet points within your answer. So a better operating profit margin. So what does this show? This shows, what's the name of the company? Wilmington Limited is making more profit relative to its sales than in the previous year. And then this could be because, so why might we be seeing an improved operating profit margin? So it could be knock on effect from gross profit margin. So it could be selling prices have increased, which would obviously affect the gross profit margin. Um, unit costs of production could have decreased. Could be there has been a change in the product mix which basically means that you're kind of shifting towards a more profitable product or because it's specifically operating profit margin that's improved, it could be because um, overhead costs have decreased or it could be because um, so overheads tend to be fixed. So it could be because um, there are higher production volumes leading to fixed overhead costs being spread over more units, therefore improving margin. Now, if I look at the mark scheme for operating profit margin, there is a maximum of five marks available for this box. In fact, there's a maximum of four marks for this box because one of the marks comes from ticking better. Each of these other points that might explain things they are actually awarding two marks a piece. So in actual fact, if I simply said more operate, some, I'll read from the, the mark scheme, more operating profit is being generated from sales, which is what I've said in that first sentence, that sentence alone gets me two marks. Saying it could be because selling prices have increased gets me another two marks. So I've actually got my full marks by the time I get to there. But I would still put them all in. Doesn't do any harm, but don't spend ages racking your brain because it looks as if there's one, well, there's, there's two marks for just saying what it shows and then two marks for a decent reason. And that really is going to be your full five mark quota. Let's have a look at the next one. So the quick acid test, so that has got worse. It's gone from 1.3 to 0.8. So this one is worse. Now remember those sentence stems. So this shows that Wilmington is less able to pay their debt as they fall due than in the previous year. This could be because, so why might their quick ratio be falling? So remember, this is nothing to do with inventory because that's been stripped out of this one. So it could be, so think about what your current assets are. So it could be because, um, trade 
receivables have reduced. Cash at bank has reduced. Or it could be that trade payables have increased. Now, you don't really need the knock on effect. I'm just going to double check that to the mark scheme. So there was a mark for saying it was worse. There was a mark for saying less solvent or possible liquidity issues. So I would say that's what I've done there. Um, there's another. Actually, there's two marks for that. Two marks for saying unable, less able to cover short term debts or Maybe I'd get it for that. So definitely two marks there. Could be due to lower trade receivables or cash. So both of those to, together is giving you two marks. Um, could be due to higher current liabilities. I've said the higher trade payables. Um, they have made one other point, but as you can see, we got the mark for it's worse. We only need two further points. So I've actually got my sort of full marks by the time I got to there. Right, gearing. So if we look at the gearing, so it's gone from 54% down to 40%. Now with gearing, the lower it is, the better. Anything over 50 is generally considered sort of high risk for investment. So the gearing is definitely better. So this shows that less of Wilmington finance comes from loans this year compared to last year. This could be because. So what are the reasons? Um, so loans have been repaid. So obviously you've got less loans, then um, less of your, your finance comes from them, or it could be shares have been issued. Right, let's see if that would have got us full mark. So we've said it's better. Um, we could have added in there, actually, that's quite a good point. We could have said this shows that less of their finance comes from loan, um, which is less risky. That's quite a good thing to write when it's to do with um, gearing. So let's have a look at the mark scheme. So the company is therefore less risky. So I just added that in there. That, that gets me two marks. Could be due to less non-current liabilities. So that's that mark, that's two marks. Could be higher equity. That's that. Um, and they've made sort of some bit more obtuse comments like obtaining loans in the future may be less difficult. OK, fair enough. But I only need four marks. I'm on four marks just saying that. Pretty much. It's very generous marking on this question. Um, so, you know, don't be put off by it. Inventory turnover. So what have we got there? So it's gone down so that means it's lower we're we're taking we're only shifting our stock 7.9 times in the year compared to 10.6 so this has got worse so this shows the company is taking longer to shift its Look this year compared to last. This could be because, so why might it be taking longer to shift stock? Um, could be selling prices have increased, so demand has fallen. So that would cause you to have, you take taking longer to shift your stock. Um, it could be because um, a new competitor has taken market share. So we're not selling as much because there's a new competitor in town. It could be because the company 
has taken advantage of bulk discounts and so holds more stock at a time. Right, again, let's have a little look um, at the suggested answers. So one mark for saying it's worse, two marks for saying it's taking longer, so two marks there, two marks for saying it could be because the prices have increased. So actually, according to the mark scheme, that gets me to full marks. They've said as well as a suggestion, it could be due to lower marketing expenditure, could be due to poor inventory management. Right, recommend whether Luke should keep or sell his shares based upon his primary concern of profitability. So based on profitability, so the first one, the operating profit margin is better. That one's to do with liquidity. That one's to do with financing. And that's to do with sort of efficiency. So based on profitability, Luke should keep his shares, I would just probably say, as the operating profit margin has improved one mark so only one mark you don't have to write an essay specify one other profitability ratio you could calculate to help Luke make his decision um well you could say the gross profit margin you could say return on capital employed Probably go for return on capital employed personally just because it's a bit different. But that's all you've got to do. It just says specify. Let me check the mark scheme. So Luke should keep his shares and then one mark to say return on capital employed, return on shareholders funds, gross profit margin, a specified expense to revenue. So any of the other profitability ratios could be stated there for the mark. And that's it. Thanks for watching.